Hey you guys, my name is Turkisa Wilson and in today's video we are going to make a diaper wreath for a baby boy. Now we are on Etsy because this is where I got my image from that we're going to be using today and in case and just in case you would like to get that image here it is. I got it from Divine Things SVG. All right? So this is what we we rocking with. Okay? So once you purchase it then of my computer stop acting so slow there we go you want to download it okay then once you download the files you gonna go to let's pull it up all right there we go boop Okay, now I already know which one I want to do, so I'm going to scroll down, and we're going to click on Baby Looney Tunes 15, but we're doing P and G, not SVG, we're going to do the one that says P and G, and I'm going to click it, bloom, there he is, super cute, super cute, this is what we're going to rock with for today, and then you see the little three dots, you're going to click that, and you're going to hit save as, and you're simply just going to save them under whatever you want to save them under. I already saved them, so I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you. All right, so just hit save. Click this all off. Okay, now we're going to go to Cricut, right? We are going to simply go up to where it says New Project. Click that boom there it is and you're gonna hit upload and we're gonna pretend like we didn't upload him already right so we're gonna hit upload image browse then we're gonna go and find them there we go baby looney tunes 15 boom we're gonna hit complex continue and there he is we don't need to erase anything he looks good so we're gonna just go to apply and continue then we're gonna click on print and cut image hit upload boom there he is since he's already done I'm simply going to erase this one we don't need that one and boom we're gonna use him we're gonna click on him and hit add to canvas now again we're doing a diaper wreath so what you would want to do is measure how big you will want him to be on your wreath okay I got mine from Dollar Tree and it's 14 inches okay so I measured him and we're gonna rock with eight inches now let me tell you I'm gonna leave him locked I am NOT going to unlock him we are going to leave him locked because all we're going to do is change the height. We're not messing with the width, just the height. Okay. Boom. There we go. That's what we're going to rock with. Okay. Now I want words on the wreath because I bought a little chalkboard from Dollar Tree and I simply measured it. And we're gonna do a little mock-up of that okay so I'm just gonna hit shapes so we're gonna know so that we can know how big we're gonna do our words okay so we're gonna hit the square boom there it is now this time we're going to unlock it see the little lock now you can see it's unlocked because we're gonna change the width and the height okay so the width we're going to make 5.75 and our height is going to be 4.25 boom there it is now i'm going to change the color to black because that's the color of our chalkboard and simply go up to the square right here click it and hit black boom there it is i'm going to move it out the way so we can focus on our words and we're simply just going to hit text on the left side 
and we're gonna simply tap you could put whatever you wish the baby's name a little saying anything you want but today we're gonna rock with shh, baby sleeping okay and I'm, I'm gonna move sleeping down just like that I'm gonna move it out the way so we kind of see it better I'm gonna move this out the way as well so we can focus on the words now we're gonna figure out what font we're gonna rock with so we're just gonna go to font and we're just gonna scroll down to DTC brown sugar that's what we're gonna rock with again our fonts gonna be DTC brown sugar so I'm gonna keep this okay you guys so I'm gonna bring this back well actually not yet let me put it back over there till we get all of our words and I still want to add a little bit more words so I'm gonna hit text and I'm going to I'm going to say uh, you wake him you rock him okay okay I'm gonna move this out the way so we can see let's move this one now I want to change the font to this one I don't, I don't I'm not feeling that font so we're gonna go up to the font and simply scroll until we find something we can rock with hmm. what is that Come on. Ew, nope, I don't like that. Okay. Come on, Cricket. There we go. We're going to rock with this one. And this font right here for this portion is going to be Disney Poop. Okay? So now we got all of our words for our boards. Now we're going to fix up our words so they'll fit on our board or board okay so let's do the first portion first the first thing okay let me move it off so you can see the first thing I want to do you see the little space right here we're gonna close that in so I'm simply gonna go up here where it says line space and hit the arrow down and I'm simply just gonna click it to it uh, let's see probably right there now I also want to center this so I'm going to go to alignment, click that, and hit center. Boom. There we have it. So that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let me hit the line space down a little bit. Probably one more. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to move it over. And I want the words to be white. So I'm going to click that little square up there and hit white. okay that's good now I want to slant it a little bit so up right here on the top right side right here where it's, you see this little circly arrow you're gonna click that and hold it and tilt it just like that and we're gonna put it right up in there just like that good enough for me now okay now what we need to do is we're gonna weld this all together because if you look over on the right side see how it has that S like that we want it all one nice piece so we're gonna highlight it all and hit weld down at the bottom right hand corner boom there it is now we're gonna put it back okay Okay, we're gonna rock, we'll leave it right there for right now. I want to slant it a little bit more. I don't look. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that for right now. I might slant it some more, 
but let's see okay now we're gonna fix up this portion okay again it has that space right there we're gonna close that in go up to line space hit your arrow down and close it in okay that's good that's good that's good all right now we're going to make it small by going down here with the two little arrows the bottom right hand side and just close it in and put it on here to it's the size you want make it a little bit bigger scoot it on up in now okay that looks good again we're going to change the color to white click at the top the little square and hit white boom there you have it all right now i'm still not done because i want to put a background where it says shh baby sleeping we're gonna hit that and we're gonna add a background so we're just gonna go up to the top hit offset Okay, now you see that blue border? That's way too much for me, so I'm gonna close it in. Okay. Give it a minute. Okay, now I'm going to hit apply. And I know you're looking at it like uh, there's no blue border. Wait, 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 I'm going to show you. I'm gonna hit apply boom there it is now you see how it's black right here that's our offset we're going to change the color to blue okay because that's the color we're going to rock with underneath right and then i'll click it now you still saying ain't nothing there turquesa just wait a minute i'm gonna take this white and move it just a little bit boop peekaboo there it is okay so I want it to be like that there you have it and that's how it's going to be on the chalkboard and it looks good so I'm gonna take it where it says Shh, sleeping baby again I'm gonna pull it to the side so you can see what I'm doing we're gonna highlight that we don't need to weld that huh I guess we ain't gonna weld it Okay, never mind. I lied. Because it ain't highlighted over there. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Okay, I guess we done. Everything look good. Oh, no. We already welded this one. This is the one that needs to be. I'm sorry, you guys. This one has to be welded, right? So, we're going to highlight that one where it says, you wake him, you rock him. And now, we're going to go down and hit weld. Sorry, you guys. Boom. There it is. Now, we are done make sure you go up to the top and hit save and just say yep. and we're good now you are ready to print it out you guys please stay tuned for part two where we put every thing together so you can see what it looks like okay and i'll see you in a few